morning, everyone. We are doing school, and apparently I'm getting the web off. <laughs> I'm wearing this sweater I made. It's short sleeve, so it's perfect for fall and spring. It's another really great day. Really great. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Sit. Sit. Really gray out there, but I don't think it's supposed to rain during the day, so we're gonna kind of go to the lake and take a lake walk. I'll probably get my lunch there. So I ate light. I had, oh my gosh, <laughs> I had some cereal. You had cereal too. So you have to draw a line from any letter you see in that world, word. So on bird, they started the B, so you need to draw a line from the I and the R and the D. Do you see the eye? To draw a line from, from the eye to the eye in here. No, don't be silly. Don't be silly. That's just gonna be messy. You go straight down, like the lines coming out of the sun. Does that make sense? Oh, ouch! You stabbed me with your pencil. Go the other way. Don't throw your pencil. That hurt my foot. The book will go that way. Just to go to the side that person is not sitting. Anyway, this is my life. We're living and I haven't seen the other child. He's doing schoolwork and he can feed himself and I'll go further whenever he wakes up. But yeah, gonna get our schoolwork done so we can go out and walk. Can you walk He doesn't know what that is. Wait, fall? Yes, fall. I guess. Hello, lovely friends. We just started our walk. We've got some lunch, kind of a junky lunch for him. He's having a donut and bacon, <laughs> but at least he gets some protein. I'm having an egg on a sesame bagel. We do not have our cup yet. They had one left, just like before, and this is a display cup. So I brought the cup in its empty box up to the counter, and I was gonna get it, but she was trying to sign me up for their little rewards. I'm like, whatever, okay. Usually I avoid it because it just takes forever. And I was like, surely it can take forever, but it wouldn't submit. And then the manager came over and it wouldn't submit. And then somebody else behind me went to the other register and it wouldn't check out. And they realized all oh, the computers are down. And they just kept trying, the lines were adding up. People were like throwing money on the counter saying, take my money, keep the change, I gotta go. I'm getting a $20 cup, so I can't really do that. I don't have $20 in cash. Excuse me if I get out of breath, I'm pushing one-handed up a hill. Let's just stop here in this beautiful view. But yeah, so I don't have the cup yet. They're like, let's put your name on it. We are ninth in line on our support call system so other stores are having this issue so hopefully they get it figured out and we're able to go back after our walk and get his top secret cup i'll give you a wipe when you're all done bud I'm <laughs> also, all done. well i have napkins too so you're gonna be sticky from the bacon just use a napkin for right now anyway it couldn't be more perfect out here because the clouds are keeping it from being too burny but it's not cold. This sweater is actually perfect. It's really lightweight and cozy. It's 100% wool, but it's like really soft wool. So I'm cozy. 
we're gonna have our food. I ordered him a drink and I asked if it had caffeine and she's like, no, it doesn't. I looked it up after he got it. It's got some green tea in it. So 40 milligrams. I don't know if that's a ton for kids. We're just gonna do it for now, I guess. And not get it again. Cause I don't think that's great. But I mean, I know friends who give their kids green tea. So hopefully it's not a big issue. But yeah, don't trust the people in the checkout. Yep, your drink. It does taste good. It's like apple cranberry. And I love green tea. He loves my green tea. He's always stealing it. He's just never had his own serving of green tea. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, there's something really noisy coming down the street. Anyway, we are going to go walk around this lake. It's about a mile-ish, mile to mile and a half if you add in walking from the shopping center. I love these houses like the single family homes careful I would not mind if I had one of the single family homes that have the nice fenced in yards around here and then a lake view but yeah let's go walk I don't think they eat anything that we have. What hey, do, squirrel. What do squirrels eat? I mean, what do squirrels eat? I think they eat, like, plants and bugs and stuff. <clears throat> hey, eat. Siri. What? What do painted turtles eat? It's very. So plants and animals, so yeah, probably bugs and fish and plants. Well, they're not sea turtles, so I don't know if they know what seaweed tastes like. They eat pond plants. Probably the safest human food would be maybe a piece of lettuce or something. Yeah, that's that. the only thing that... Because that's what you feed them if you keep them as a pet. That's one of the things that they can have. another one look up they have so many fire trucks and the fire station is right there hello hello can you see my face on that um, I put it on wide angle yeah I can see your face all right so we just went to the first store we just came back come here let's give a hug He's a little sad because he was hoping for a transforming. Obviously, we can't control what we find, but you found a monster truck, right? I just need to clean him off. Can you get the can of wipes for me from the bathroom? Let me show you what we got. A paper sorter. We always need these. I might rearrange the desk, but this was $1.25. 
so. Oh, that looks awesome. I don't know if we need it or we need it. Ziggy's. But it's a really nice, sturdy, heavy one. We got a snowball maker for 65 cents. He's grumpy, so leave him alone. Why is he grumpy? We got this book for your Jack. Oh, nice. A vintage Snoopy. This is from... Oh, the, so the pages are yellow. 1962. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I, no, he doesn't want to have great now, Do we take the bacon out of this? No, we'll just leave it in there. Okay. I got some flowers for $1.50. I think I'm going to put the purple ones in with my cherry blossoms in the foyer. What else we got? I got myself a necklace. I don't usually look for the jewelry, but I was waiting in line and this one jumped out at me. I like how long it is. I like layering necklaces, so I really like that. I'll have to get that away because I think a little dusty. Alright, so here is the very cool pullback car that Sebastian got. It says high voltage. It's not any particular brand, but it does work really well. So we'll clean it. He also got a little dinosaur encyclopedia. Can't read it yet, but you can look at the pictures. Let's see. We got an adult card game <laughs> for next trip. Sealed new in box. That so, looks fun. There's that. He got a Pokemon little kid book. Oh, nice. We have a shirt for Big Brother. Ooh, that looks cool. Hopefully fits you, it's a size large. I usually hold them up to me and see if they fit me. <laughs> and there is a shirt for Sebastian. Dino wants pizza. I honestly don't know what this other one is, but it looks really good. Oh, I think it's for Sebastian. It's cool to be kind. So that is our haul. It was $20, I think. $21. And it all goes to a woman's shelter charity. So, very nice. you while we were out walking. I don't think I talked to you before quite time. So I'm just gonna pick up from there and hope I'm right in what I remember. We took about a 45 minute walk around the lake. That's going slow the first half. Excuse me, I have an itch in my throat. <clears> throat> I wish you could <laughs> somehow scratch an itch and then like the back roof of your mouth. It's so annoying. But we went half the first we went half the first slow. We went slow the first half. But it had a little bit of purple. Yeah, from your medicine. That means you got it out of your teeth. So it's good. <laughs> a little yeah, that's what was stuck in your teeth. Yeah, that's good. That means you cleaned your teeth. Let me start over. We went slowly for the first half because we were eating. We got some food from Dunkin' Donuts. I just got a bagel, sesame bagel with an egg. I think I told you what we were eating. He had a donut and then he made me buy him bacon and then he only ate half and then I ended up bringing it back to Jack's because I was gonna try and keep the whole fact that we went to that shopping center a secret so I wouldn't get mad that I didn't say, hey, you wanna come with me? But he couldn't have come with me because then I couldn't have gotten a cup. But he ended up not caring 
when I gave him the bacon because I'm like, we still have drinks and we have to carry the drinks and he's going to see them. It ended up not being a big deal. But yeah, after 45 minutes, we went back to the store. I got to talk quiet. I don't know when he's going to come in. But luckily, everything was working. We still had it safe for me. I bought it. All was well with the world. And then we left the shopping center and went to the thrift store because I told Sebastian we could. He really had his heart set on finding a transformer because we managed to find two transformers the last time we were there. It did not happen. They really didn't have anything good. They had like seven different fire trucks, including the two versions of this and like a whole bunch of smaller ones, like so many fire trucks, which is funny because the toy room has a big window that just you look out and 12 feet away is our fire department. <laughs> So, very fitting, but we didn't need it. We got that. <laughs> That's from a neighbor. He was a little bummed. I did find just a generic monster truck, and it turns out he's having a lot of fun with it tonight. It works really well, but at the time when we left, he was very sad and kept crying for a little while. I think he was tired. I don't... I would blame it on that drink having caffeine in it, but he really only drank like that much of it. I guess he actually didn't like it after all. So that's a good thing that he didn't, but waste of money. Okay, go get brother. We're running out of time and he should be getting ready because it's after 9.30. Anyway, we got home and he ate a little bit more food. I believe he chose just a little snack. And what did I do? I went over all the stuff I bought with you guys. And then I think we just, Piggy was so tired too that Jax always forgets to close the gate to the upstairs. And Piggy went upstairs and did not come back down when I called him, which means he wants to go in his crate. Sure enough, I come up and he's laying in his crate with the door open. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, hold on Piggy. I'm still doing a few things. We got all settled and came up, I brought this I keep forgetting that their sizes are huge and I'm used to getting a medium drink at Starbucks. I've got a hair stuck to me. This is a medium cold brew, black. I don't need this, <laughs> this is too much. I need to remember to order small because this is like a large at Starbucks. People get big drinks, I guess. So I'm gonna be pouring that down the sink in a minute, but we did quiet time. What was I doing during quiet time? I think I was pretty much reading the news. I was trying to get caught up on that. I decided that I'm going to do some sort of a LED fairy for Halloween. I just really met, pretty much take the kids around trick or treating, but I like to dress up. It's just fun for me. I think I'm going to make the wings myself and buy the skirt. Though the best looking skirt I see is white and I probably want to go with black just because all my shoes are black. I've got black leggings that could be warm. I have black shirts. So I think I'm still going to go ahead and get the white one and maybe layer something sheer and black over it. I do have an old dress that comes apart into two pieces and the top is sheer. It might be too short for that. Or I can just get fabric or a ballet wraparound sheer skirt like I used to use when I took ballet class. Whichever is cheaper, the fabric or the $14 skirt. So that I think I'm going to start ordering. I've got some things in my Amazon cart, the skirt and some LEDs to make the wings. I think I would use just a wire and pantyhose <laughs> to make the wings and just random scraps of felt or whatever straps. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Pretty crafty. But I was starting to think about that and then we finished up quiet time right around dinner and Sebastian's been asking for sushi and finally we had a day where even though it was cloudy it didn't rain. It wasn't gonna rain so yay we got to go. It wasn't busy. We got a table right away outside. Our favoritist server there. She practically runs the place because the owner who we also love and have known since Jax was in my belly. He opened up a second restaurant in the same shopping center. 
He has a, his Japanese sushi restaurant, but he's Korean and opened up a Korean meat restaurant. Goki, 92. Yep. I read this, the Korean, the Hangul. It was Goki, Kui, Kui. Yeah, Kui. I guess that means 92. Every, I do my Korean every day and it just goes straight through the ears, straight out. <laughs> I remember maybe like 20 words and none of them are useful. One day maybe it'll stick, but I don't think so. I think the door is tightly locked in the language center of my brain and languages are one of the things I love the most in the world, so it's so frustrating. But yeah, Patricia was there. We love her so much. She was super nice. Jax is tough to order for. He, he's just discovered his love for teriyaki chicken, but we're not spending $18 on an adult meal. They don't have any kids meals there. He grew up eating the baby meal where they just give us a bowl of rice, a bowl of miso, and pile some tofu on it, and he mixes it all together. So he ended up having that, but we figured out that she could make us a custom tempura appetizer for him. He didn't like the shrimp tempura, but he loves the sweet potato, the zucchini, the broccoli. So I just asked her to make a veggie version of the tempura appetizer, heavy on the sweet potato, which is his favorite, but to have whatever she wanted and all of us could help out. There was some onions and a green bean and we happily ate them for him. Uh, I got the crunch veggie roll. I haven't had that in so long because it has cream cheese, but I asked her since we know her and we're so comfortable with her, I asked her for no dairy, so she took off. Well, she actually took off. It was made it completely vegan, so she took off the cream cheese from the inside. Basically, it's temp tempura veggies rolled up in seaweed and rice into a yummy roll. The rice on the outside with crumbs, crunch on the outside. And she took off the mayo sauce, which I didn't know that sauce was mayo. I was indifferent about it. I'm not a big mayo person, but oh, it's so good. It's so warm and just soothing all these veggies. I loved it. And then I ordered avocado rolls, which I ended up getting double because they were gonna put my two rolls on a separate plate, but they accidentally put the avocado rolls on the fish plate and brought it out and I'm like, okay, I'll just start eating it. But then when she brought out my crunch veggie, there was another order of the rolls, which I did not make it all the way through, but very tasty and I tried to eat as much as I could. But then we took a quick walk around the shopping center, hopped in the car, came back home, and I went downstairs to sew. I didn't film it because I am still trying to catch up on YouTube videos, um, like many of you are trying to catch up here. But I started working on the actual version of Jax's Among Us helmet. Hopefully it's coming out okay with my measurements. I didn't measure him. I'm kind of vaguely going by, based on me, but hoping, I hope it all works out. But if not, it really wasn't that expensive to buy the material. I think I paid $10 for the foam interfacing, which is exactly enough for what I need. I won't have any for the backpack. I'll have to do something else for that. And then enough fabric for the helmet and the backpack for probably seven. I think it was six something, probably six ninety five. So if something messes up, it's not the end of the world, but I'd rather not mess it up. If I messed it up, I would cut it apart and use the foam that I've already cut for the backpack and probably most of that fabric as well. That would make it not be a waste. But anyway, I'm just going for it. <laughs> Measure once, cut twice? Is that what it, what the saying is? Anyway, I need to get changed. I've been enjoying wearing my handmade sweater. This is my necklace I got from the thrift store for three fifty. dollars only thing I don't love about it is I'm not a big rhinestone person. It just doesn't want to focus. I put it up on my lips, it wants to focus there. So there's this little ring bead right here that has little fake diamonds but doesn't distract from it. I really love this like smoky whitish gray color bead and I love these kind of tassels 
I love long necklaces so I can layer if I was wearing, I didn't put on the necklace that I need today because I felt like my sweater was a little busy, but I feel like if I layer it, excuse me while I move your arms, if I were to layer this on, try not to put my face in the face. I think it would look good layered. This is kind of like a smoky, shiny gray. Like it's iridescent, so it looks kind of blue, but it's like a, a grayish stone. You probably don't care. I'm just loving my sweater is basically what I'm getting at. I am gonna go, so I'll see you tomorrow. I might bring them to the mall tomorrow. I might even bring them for breakfast. Go inside, get them their cinnamon rolls, go back outside and have a car picnic with them because we can't sit inside with our masks off and eat. That's a no to go. And I don't think they have any outside tables at the mall, sadly. It'd be so wonderful if they just freaking put some tables outside. <laughs> but no, they don't. But yeah, maybe I'll do that. Just a shorter day for Sebastian. He enjoyed everything he did so far today that he wants me to keep some of the same activities. <clears throat> and then we didn't make it to some of the others because I really wanted to get out there and buy that cup but yeah i just keep babbling good night stay safe be kind don't forget wash your hands